All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we are going to cover the D2 chart, the Hora chart. And uh, I said that I'll be covering uh, these uh, D2 chart, uh, you know, in detail. So primarily we have three types of D2 charts, okay? How many types? Three types. Okay, so one that you see known as D1 Hora. Okay, this is also known as Parashara Hora chart. Okay, Parashari Hora. The second one, that is another D, D2 Hora, I'm sorry, D2 Hora Parashari. The other that you look at D2 is the Parivriti Hora. Parivriti Hora. You must have seen that chart as well in the PL. And the third one, D2, is the Somanath Hora. So I, I, I said that I will be teaching all three of you and I'll try to cover all three of them today. And a lot of practice will be left after that. So a lot of combinations, permutations, keep applying, keep learning. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, these are the three types of wealth, dhana, that has been, you know, given in the Shastras. D2 Hora, can somebody explain me from my previous lecture, what kind of dhan we were talking about when we were talking of the D2 Hora? Anyone who would like to say that? Anything? What kind of dhana, ji? It talks about the environment that we are born in. Yes. It talks about like what kind of a, like life lessons are we going to learn in like in that like because we okay. talk about only sun and moon. Mm -hmm. So what is our soul going to experience? Like is it going to experience like uh, comfort or is is it going to be emotional or is it going to be like very strong strength so that's what i i learned from there okay uh saniji saying material wealth of course we see material wealth from here primarily we see just like parulji said the sufferings and the happiness that is going to come and that will be based on you know the position of your planets uh that are favorable in the sun hora and the position of the planets that are favorable in the moon hora so the dashas are also easily assessed by looking at whether the planet is comfortable in the D2 Hora chart or not. So I, I'll be telling you the rules and regulations, right? Which dasha will really make you work hard in life and just kill you and still give you money and which dasha will make you sit idle and may not be a very fruitful dasha, but a very peaceful dasha, uh, you know, of your life. So this is what we see, you know, Hora. But then in the Parivriti Hora, you know, the biggest wealth, you know, a native can have is the wealth of Dharma. Okay. So, Dharam towards self, Dharam towards family, Dharam towards nation. Give me a second. Dharam towards nation, country, and dharma towards your work, your samaj, your society. This can be seen from D2, D2 Parivriti Hora. And you know what? The most amazing chart that I'll teach you today is the D2 Swamanath Hora. These divisional charts have been designed after progress of this Jyotisha. Right? Various Rishis, various, you know, Munis and scholars have worked on various divisional charts and they've come out of various versions of a particular divisional chart. Primary are 16 only. Okay, primary are 16. 
Can somebody tell me why primary divisional charts are 16 only? Anyone? Uh, the maximum number of uh, like rays from moon are 16, which makes it complete. Is it, is it that way? No. I mean, we have a lot of divisional charts, okay? But why Muni Parashara has said 16? Why Muni Prashra has said 16 is because each divisional chart represents Kala of a Krishna. Remember this. Each divisional chart, the, the, the Shodoshak or the Shodosh, which is 16 divisional charts, are actually the 16 Kalas of Krishna. Remember this. <laughs> Sola Kala Sampurna Krishna. So these 16 charts are the 16 colors of Krishna. Always remember this. And since these are the 16 colors, what Vishnu expected out of you people was that one day if you master these 16 colors, take lesson from your 16 divisional charts, one day you people can become or a scope of becoming like Krishna, not Krishna, like Krishna. So if you study the Sola Kalas of Krishna, you can relate all the 16 divisional charts. That is why the primary, you know, divisional charts to understand, to dissect human life are 16. Okay, and why, you know, there, there are some charts which are missing in D16. You know, people have jumped to D60 also, which is part of D16 charts. Straight away to D60, D45. Right? Oh. Because these charts match with the 16 colors of Krishna. Right? So, a lot of research. I mean, we can teach this concept for next two years. Trust me. I can teach Navamsha for two years. Only Navamsha, you know, 100 lectures in a year, 200 lectures in two years, I can give you on Navamsha. It is that wide. It is that wide. It is that, the scope is that much of learning. Imagine. I mean, we can learn divisional charts for next five years and still not be able to master them. Because there's something new to it, something new to it all the time. But then what is happening in our life is that we are learning those concepts that, that, that are going to help many people. Okay? Many, many people. So how the concept is going to help many people? Because we are learning those things in a divisional chart through which you can come as near as possible to solving someone's problem. Okay? You may not know 500 things about a chart, but you know only 50 things about a chart and those 50 things are really helping people. Really helping people. That is where you are a blessed astrologer. You know, when I was, I, I always used to have one question in my mind. Can this student or my colleague or my life partner help me grow in my life? Now listen to me, you know, this, this is a very careful statement. Look at, you know, look at me what I'm saying. I'm not talking about partnership. No. I'm not saying that will this partnership will be a benef you know, a, a, a beneficial partnership for me. I'm not saying that. My statement is, will this person help me achieve my target or my real purpose of existence? That is seen from D2 Somanath. Amazing, no? Amazing. Because D2 Somanath chart is never ever 
studied individually d2 somanath chart is always studied in pairs like my d2 somanath and your d2 somanath d2 somanath chart is between it is a wealth having a good friend is a wealth having a good colleague is a wealth having a good wife is a wealth wealth of people around you for an example you can take uh, you know you can take the uh, chart of mahatma gandhi and jawahar lal nehru to understand whether they had that same frame of mind and they were working towards the nation and did jawahar lal nehru help gandhi ji to you know take his drive forward or not was he helpful or was he just pretending i am doing jyotisha i am learning every day i am a student i will remain student whole my life i cannot master this in this life no it's a lie it's a big lie i'm learning every day trying to you know clear the concepts more and more and more and more so this person who is with me right now will this person be able to help achieve my target in life will this person be learning jyotish with me or for an example i'll give you an example of naman will naman and me you know will will he will he fulfill my you know oh, you know what is the speaking i think siri speaking okay so what what i'm saying is okay what i'm saying is will naman be able to you know take my dream ahead does his chart has that capability or if a student is connected in the rudra vedic academy will that student or my colleague or my team member help me grow in my life that is seen from the d2 somanath chart because that is one of the biggest wealth that a person can have in his or her life how many of you agree to this kind of a wealth come on right so it is not about you know just the money part or the dasha part which dasha is good which dasha is bad okay it's not about that it's about your dharma it's about the people around you are they an asset to you or are they a liability to you so d2 somanath chart will tell you that this person this husband this wife this brother this sister this colleague this friend is an asset for me who will take me forward or who will bring me down or he is nothing to me he or she will not be able to do anything this is seen from d2 somanath chart and the concepts are easy yet complicated it takes a lot of practice lots of practice so you will understand dharma in parivritti you can understand dharma of a person is that person keeping dharma for himself for the family for the nation or for the world you can easily find out that is parivritti somanath is comparison between two charts asset or a liability in form of a person and d2 hora parashara chart or parashari chart will tell that whether you will have wealth comfort peace of mind in your life in a particular dasha how many planets are good how many planets are bad this is one of the ways 
of understanding the planetary position of your horoscope as well and i'll teach you this in the the extreme simplest way if you keep it simple and if you take what i say analyzing a chart for you people will be very very easy does that mean true friend or a true relationship can be seen uh you see shashank ji <coughs> dharma ha huh? parivritti chart the only thing which is missing in parivritti chart is emotion परिवृत्ति धर्म में इमोशन नहीं होता है जहां धर्म है वहां कोई इमोशन नहीं है मेरे को ज्योतिष पढ़ाना धर्म है मेरे को एक सही पथ पे चलना मेरा धर्म है वहां पर अगर मैं इमोशन लेकर आया तो मेरा धर्म गया आप समझ रहे हो मेरी बात मेरी वेल्थ गई मेरा धर्म गया अब आप बात कर रहे हो ट्रू फ्रेंड रिलेशनशिप एक ट्रू फ्रेंड या एक रिलेशनशिप बिना इमोशन के कैसे हो सकता है आप मेरी बात समझने की कोशिश करिए मैं यहां पर पार्टनरशिप की टू ट्रू फ्रेंड की वर्ड वर्ड जवाहरलाल नेहरू एंड महात्मा गांधी वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स और ट्रू फ्रेंड्स नो I mean, at time you are very lucky if your wife or your husband can have certain combinations that I'm going to teach you today. Then it means that you have a true friend, or your spouse is also a person who will help you achieve your dharma. That is absolutely fantastic. lot of people or there can be one or two aspects there can be one or two aspects between you and your wife where 70% she is behaving like your wife or your husband 20% for one particular aspect she is helping you to reach where you want to reach the 9 o'clock lecture that i'm going to take today is a lecture that will clarify two things which is the need of everyone 9 o'clock lecture will make you identify what you want to do in this world based on your karmas and what world expects you to do in this world if you can synchronize that you will become a role model a legend but if there are two separate things happening you want to do this thing in your life that is what your horoscope is saying and world is expecting something else from you world can be your family your friends your qualification your career this entire samaj guru teacher everyone is the world they expect something else from you but you are doing something else that is a mismatch that is what i am going to teach you in the next lecture in the form of aditya's it's a very deep concept so that is why i requested if you people can join you will enjoy so what i'm saying here is that it is not about a true friend shashank ji because wherever you have true friend means there are so much emotions attached with that true friend i mean you might love me you might respect me you might take me as a guru a mentor some of you may have extreme amount of emotions for me and i may have it for you but then some of you may have a very very 
धार्मिक रिलेशनशिप विथ मी रिलेशनशिप ऑफ धर्मा which is that i can do so many things for my guru ji and guru ji can do so many things for me but we are not emotional about each other you understand so when you are not emotional about each other there is dharma when you are emotional about each other then it is not a dharma right so the d2 somanath chart can have little bit emotion can have but parivritti has no emotion because when two people are connected together and they are working ahead for the same particular aim in life they may share certain emotions they may have certain emotions that are like similar for an example mahatma gandhi he wants emo, you know the country to be free jawaharlal nehru wanted the country to be free mahatma gandhi never wanted to be a prime minister or a president never but nehru wanted to be you understand you have to think that the the target was same at initial their emotions were together a free india but once we got the independent their emotions were different he became the father of the nation and he became the prime minister or the president you understand he was more inclined towards politics he were more inclined towards the father of the nation to stay away from the politics of jinnah and nehru so you have to understand that these charts shashank ji are not emotional charts their bases are not emotional i hope i have made it clear that there are certain emotions involved but not complete emotions okay of course when two people are together and they they understand you know the journey then they will have some similar emotions but they may not be very emotional about each other it's all about journey uh by dharma you mean duties in a layman terms dharma according to me are <clears throat> following the rules that is what dharma is duty is a very small word the bracket of duty is limited to time right limited to environment but dharma is something which is very very large and irrespective of the circumstances time condition and people around you you still follow those protocols that is dharma like shri ram had his dharma he never left the dharma of a kshatriya no matter what the situation was so it was his duty to fight but it was his dharma to tell ravana that hey look still i can let you go i'm not interested in your kingdom or your wealth or interested in killing you i'm not interested and i will not you know give you a bow and arrow until you have it in your hand main hathe ko nahi marunga because that is the dharma of a kshatriya it is not his duty it is his dharma so duty is part of a dharma but dharma is is a very large thing like i am giving you this class that is my duty this is not my dharma my dharma is that i have to guide my students and having a small class is a part of that dharma okay so you understood this thing also so dharma is a very 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 broader thing duty accountability responsibility 
दीज आर ऑल ब्रांचेस ऑफ धर्म ओके ओके सो वट आई कैन डू टूडे इज आई कैन बिकॉज ऑल थ्री विल बी डिफिकल्ट सो विच विच शुड आई डू डी टू पराशरी एंड डी टू सोमनाथ और बिकॉज डी टू सोमनाथ इज वेरी वेरी इजी बट लेट मी डू फर्स्ट द डी टू पराशरी लेट मी फिनिश दैट एंड देन कम टू सोमनाथ एंड देन टूमोरो आई डू परिवृति ओके सो let me hit the white board so you see in the d2 hora chart what we discussed was that in all the odd signs the first 15 degrees is a sun hora and 15 to 30 is a moon hora and in all the even signs which are basically the female signs the first 15 degrees is a moon hora and the later 15 degrees is a sun hora so based on odd and even signs and the placement of the planet and the placement of the degree of the ascendant we can create a d2 hora chart which you all created okay which you all created so that was one then we were trying to understand that you know which particular lagna is good if the lagna lord is in the d1 in the surya hora okay but in the even sign okay but then it is not considered good because it is going to bring the emotional the mixed attachments this is what we were covering about the lagna lord you have to see in the d1 and in the d2 to understand what kind of a person you are d2 ke andar the chandra hora is very emotional like a mother and the surya hora is like a father strict organized disciplined and everything <coughs> you see day strong planets and you can easily research why these planets are day strong based on their size and position in this galaxy the day strong planets are sun jupiter and venus sun jupiter and venus and the night strong are moon mars and saturn mercury is strong early morning with the first ray at at dawn you know mercury is strong at that time at the time of sunset and at the time of sunrise that is when mercury is strong ketu and rahu has a very different logic because they are not formally the planet they are chhayas and rahu and ketu here are in the same sign in the same house and for rahu ketu i told you if it is there in the lagna then the trouble are within the family if they are in the 12th or on the second then you know it is the trouble that can come from outside which i explained to you so what is the rule now you understand look at your sun jupiter and venus in your horoscope if the day strong chart uh, planets are in your sun hora in the d in the d2 chart then they are considered good and if moon mars and saturn are in the night hora night hora kaun sa hoga moon so in your d2 chart if sun jupiter 
and venus are in the sign of leo they are good and if moon mars and saturn are in the sign of cancer they are good simple simple aap ja ke dekho kitne grah leo mein hai और कितने ग्रह कैंसर में डे स्ट्रॉन्ग ग्रह लियो में है और नाइट स्ट्रॉन्ग ग्रह कैंसर में है जितने हैं आप उतने लकी हो जितने नहीं है आप लकी नहीं हो वॉट अबाउट मोकरी मोकरी है सेड यू नो इज अ कार्क ऑफ सनसेट एंड सनराइज बोथ If Mercury is in Moon Hora, in the even signs, it is good. and if it is in the sun hora in the odd signs it is good open your d1 chart <coughs> and check <coughs> is your mercury in the even sign in the moon hora which means is it in the first 15 degrees of the even sign mercury is debilitated in which sign pisces pisces is a even sign hello yes no if a mercury debilitated in the even sign in first 15 degrees from 0 to 14 0.59 it is not bad even if it is depleted not bad but if it is exalted it is exalted in virgo which is again which sign even sign but it is like 19 degrees of virgo 20 degrees of virgo although it is like an exalted sign but then it is not a very good because it is in the sun hora this is in the moon hora further if you take this so suppose this mercury is in the moon hora here okay and it will definitely be going in the in the cancer in the d2 and this will be going in the in where in the sun hora in the d2 okay so now you understand the logic that mercury is like a dual energy it is only good <clears throat> if it is in the odd sign in the sun hora and even sign if it is then it should be in the moon hora only then consider your mercury good so now tell me put it in the chat how many of you have got good mercury and a bad mercury likho pada how many of you have your mercury in the sun hora okay what happens when the mercury is bad 
Vishnu Sastra. Yes, that we have to recite. That is perfect. Okay, tell me. This is my chart. Who will tell me here? Mercury is good or bad? Bata. Good Guruji. Mercury no, is sorry. in which hora? It's good Guruji. Sun hora. Sun hora. And it is odd sign. Odd sign. Hmm. Yes. Yes. So it's good. Upachya house. Mercury is your marak. Mercury is in the third house. Agar Mercury marak hai, to iska matlab mesh lagan wale ki communication hi nahi honi chahiye fir to. Ab meri baat samaj raha ab. Mesh lagan wale ki to communication honi nahi chahiye kyunki uska Mercury kharaab hota hai. बात ही खत्म कर दी आपने हाँ ये डिफरेंस होता है जब आप पब्लिक स्पीकिंग करते हो जब आप यूट्यूब चैनल बनाते हो जब आप वीडियो बनाते हो आप अपनी कंसल्टेशन में किसी को कोई चीज कम्युनिकेट करते हो कि वो कम्युनिकेशन तो आप बहुत अच्छी भी कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हो पर क्या वो कम्युनिकेशन इफेक्टिव है आप समझ रहे हो मेरी बात क्या वो कैपेबिलिटी रखती है एक लाख दो लाख पांच लाख सब्सक्राइबर्स करने की क्या आपके पिछले जन्म में कर्म अच्छे थे जिसकी वजह से आपका बुद्ध आपकी इंटेलिजेंस और आपकी कम्युनिकेशन एक ऑड साइन में फर्स्ट फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज में सूर्य ये बुद्ध आया और इवन साइंस में लास्ट की पंद्रह डिग्रीज में आया सॉरी इवन साइंस में भी फर्स्ट फोर्टीन डिग्रीज में आया सॉरी ओनली देन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट इज द रियल मीनिंग ऑफ योर मोहपुरी ओके टेल मी वन थिंग नाउ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू विल टेल मी दैट दिस वीनस दशा इज गुड फॉर मी और नॉट Venus is a day strong planet or a night strong planet? Tell me. Day. Day strong. Day strong. Day. It should be in the sun hora. Is it in the sun hora? Yes. Yes, Guruji. So this dasha is good, but since it is in the sun hora. it will really really make me work hard and it will create lot of discipline and lot of problems in my life because that is it will create cruelty in my life when it comes to working because it is in the sun hora but since it is the day strong planet in the sun hora it has capability to do good batao is your d2 chart right in front of you crystal clear or not batao you know the good planet and the bad planet now you know the good dasha and the bad dasha now is your d2 chart clear or not yes parul guruji i have couple of question first of all like uh, jupiter अगर मून के साथ मतलब अगर वो कैंसर में चला जाता है तो डज इट बिहेव लाइक एक्सोल्टेड इवन तो दैट विल बी कंसीडर एज लाइक नाइट वर्सेस द डे सी माय कांसेप्ट इज वेरी वेरी क्लियर जुपिटर इज बेसिकली अ डे स्ट्रांग प्लैनेट ओके बट इन योर डी2 इट इज गॉन इन द कैंसर ओके व्हाट इज हैपनिंग What is happening? It is night me chala gaya wo, so it will not let you work hard. It will not. But only if there is a parivartan between sun and moon. Only then. So, yeah, this is the question I asked in the group also, Guruji, last time. Ki only if there is a parivartan. Sun is a day strong planet. Anji. It is if suppose it is gone in the Chandra in the Cancer, and moon is night mm-hmm. strong. and moon is gone where in the in the, where? in the in the in the sign of leo 5 okay 
ओके okay, परिवर्तन हो गया क्या हो कि नहीं हुआ उनका बताओ आप समझ रहे हो डी में अगर परिवर्तन हो जाता है सन एंड मून का उस सर्कमस्टांसिस में केवल एक ग्रह ऐसा है जिसको बेनिफिट मिलता है और वो है बृहस्पति और किसी को भी नहीं और किसी को भी नहीं ओनली एंड जुपिटर यू नो विच इज डे स्ट्रॉन्ग प्लैनेट इफ इट गोज इन दी चंद्र होरा एंड देर इज अ परिवर्तन बिटवीन सन एंड मून ओनली देन दैट जुपिटर इज गुड अदरवाइज नॉट आपको अगर वो परिवर्तन नहीं हो रहा है पारुल और वो जुपिटर अगर आपका कर्क के हौरा में गया है तो वो आपकी पूरी बृहस्पति की दशा को बहुत पीसफुल बनाएगा लेकिन आपसे लाइफ में कोई बहुत बड़ा काम नहीं करवाएगा आपकी हेल्थ खराब कर सकता है आपकी हेल्थ खराब कर सकता है वो कैसे आप अपनी लाइफ में बहुत ज्यादा काम कब नहीं करते हो या तो जब आप बेपरवाह हो जाओ यू नो यूर नॉट रेडी टू वर्क या आपकी हेल्थ खराब हो जाए तीन महीने चार महीने छह महीने आप काम ही नहीं कर पा रहे आप अपना कर्म ही नहीं कर पा रहे राइट right? या आपका बिजनेस डाउन हो गया या आपको नौ से पांच वाली पांच सात हजार डॉलर वाली जॉब मिल गई है एंड यू आर वेरी सेटिस्फाइड यू आर वेरी कंटेंटेड ये सर्कमस्टांसिस चलते हैं जब एक डे स्ट्रॉन्ग प्लैनेट कर्क में चला जाता है ऑर्डनरी लाइफ इजी लाइफ लेकिन जब एक डे स्ट्रॉन्ग प्लैनेट लियो में चला जाता है डी टू चार्ट के अंदर इफ इट गोज देयर देन वो आपकी बस करवा देता है कैसे अब जैसे अब मैं अपनी पर्सनल लाइफ देखू तो सुबह सात बजे से रात के ग्यारह बजे तक बस हो जाती है लिटरली माई लास्ट वर्ड आर बस हो गई है आई मीन इट इज गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ वट एम आई डूइंग फॉर पीपल एंड फॉर फैमिली एंड फाइनेंस बट पर्सनली इज इट गुड नो आई एम नॉट एट पीस मैं आराम से नहीं हूं बहुत बोझ है बहुत रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज है I am not peaceful. Every time I'm, you know, talking to people, people are crying, 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 and they want some solutions. So, ये वो दशा है जो मुझे भगा रही है. इधर से, उधर, उधर से, इधर. लेकिन since Venus is well placed, Venus is happy. Venus is happy in the Sun Hora. I am also happy. The dasha is happy. but it is since it is in a strict environment it is keeping me strict okay. if my venus but, would have been in a loose environment honestly i would have not worked hard in my life in the venus dasha no struggles will only come if you are meant to do something bigger in life if you are not meant to do something bigger in a particular dasha that dasha will be a piece of a cake इजी कुछ भी बड़ा नहीं हुआ कुछ भी ज्यादा नहीं हुआ कुछ भी अच्छा नहीं हुआ कुछ भी बुरा नहीं हुआ बस बड़ा अच्छा स्मूथ सा वक्त निकल गया इज इट अ वेरी प्रोडक्टिव टाइम जो बहुत स्मूथ सा निकलता है बट बट गुरु जी वो जो मून के उसमें चला जाता है और मून भी वहां पे हो तो वो गज के से जो जो बनता है कुछ भी तो दैट विल नॉट फलित नहीं होता है वो डीटेल में भी ऐसे ना कुछ कोई योग कोई भाव वहां पे कुछ ऐसे वैसे फलित नहीं होते हैं ओके okay. और यहां पे फिर रेट्रोग्रेड प्लैनेट्स का क्या रोल होता है डिले दैट दशा इज ब्रिंगिंग डिले रेट्रोग्रेशन इज गोइंग बैक revising what you have done analyzing what you have done and then going forward it is like two steps ahead one step back then two steps ahead one step back technically you are taking only one step it is Guruji, looking you as if you taken two the effort is of, of the two steps but the progress is of the one step that is retrogression you have more chestha usme chestha jagti hai कि मैं और आगे बढ़ना और आगे बढ़ना है और वो पीछे खींचा जा रहा है आपके पिछले जन्मों की कर्मों की वजह से क्योंकि पिछले जन्म में आपने उस चीज को मास्टर करके आप हीरो बनने की कोशिश की आपने यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम सेइंग या 
वो बेसिकली ये पता लगाना है कि आपकी कुंडली में एक ग्रह आपके लिए एसेट है के लाइबिलिटी है इनको आप वेद मूर्ति राजयोग गज केसरी यू नो ये सब योगों के साथ मत जोड़ो इसको डी टू को इस तरह से नहीं देखा जाता डी टू को एसेट मैनेजमेंट के लिए देखा जाता है अब आपको मैं एक छोटा सा प्रिंसिपल बताऊं आज आपको मैं बिल्कुल क्लियर कर देता हूं इस बात के लिए आप सारे मेरी तरफ देखो अपने अगर कैमराज ऑन कर सकते हो तो करो मैं आपको इन गज के सरी इन सब योगों का एक कॉन्सेप्ट बता दो मेरी बात ध्यान से सुनना ये ये सूर्य है ठीक है दिस इज सूर्य ऑल द प्लैनेट आर रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सूर्य इज इट क्लियर ठीक है आप मुझे को एक राजयोग के बारे में बोलते हो गुरु जी गज केसरी योग गुरु जी मेरी कुंडली में शनि का शश योग मेरी कुंडली के अंदर ये योग वो योग आपकी कुंडली में शुक्र मालव्य योग बना रहा है बहुत अच्छा और शुक्र की दशा आपको मरोड़ के रख रही है आपको जीरो कर रही है कोई रिजल्ट ही नहीं आ रहा नथिंग इज कमिंग इन योर लाइफ बाय व्हाट इज द रीजन एवरी ग्रह is going to give you results through surya how how through surya kaise aapko pata hai mangal ki energy budh ki energy shani ki energy jo bhi aapke thought process pe kaam kar rahi hai aapke upar kaam kar rahi hai that is only coming via surya the the None of the planet is communicating directly. None of them. They are all going to Surya, and Surya is generating the energy, and Surya is directly communicating with you. So during the day, it is the Surya which is communicating the energy. During the night, it is the Chandra which is. So if if a Mercury has to give you some positive thought in the day. he'll contact surya during the day if he has to give you a positive thought in the night he'll contact the chandra am i clear this mama and papa and the entire world is dealing with you when you are a child only through mama papa school is calling mother or father teacher is calling mother or father you've done a mistake your father is called or your mother is called राइट right. सो so, इसलिए एक स्टेटमेंट आती है पराष्ट्रा हो शास्त्र में वो क्या स्टेटमेंट है कि कोई भी राजयोग फलित होगा कि नहीं होगा वो डिपेंड करेगा सूर्य के ऊपर और वो कितनी देर तक राजयोग रहेगा ये डिपेंड करेगा चंद्रमा के ऊपर आई एल रिपीट द स्टेटमेंट कोई भी राजयोग फलित होगा कि नहीं होगा आपको आपके अच्छे शनि की रिजल्ट मिलेगा कि नहीं मिलेगा कि मिलेगा ही नहीं छोड़ो कि वो कितनी देर तक मिलेगा दैट इज द सेकंड क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आपकी कुंडली में गज केसरी योग है गज केसरी योग आपको कुछ फायदा देगा कि नहीं देगा वो गज केसरी योग पे डिपेंड नहीं करता इट डजेंट डिपेंड अपॉन दी गज केसरी योग इट डिपेंड अपॉन सूर्य और बताओ इट कंप्लीटली डिपेंड ऑन सूर्य और गज केसरी योग का कॉन्सेप्ट हम डी टू में इसलिए नहीं ला सकते क्योंकि उसमें से एक डे स्ट्रॉन्ग है और एक नाइट स्ट्रॉन्ग है तो वो एक साथ कैसे बैठेंगे आप सोचिए अगर एक साथ बैठ भी गए तो एक तो डे स्ट्रॉन्ग अच्छा होगा एक दूसरा अच्छा होगा ही आप समझ रहे हो मेरी बात तो ये जो योग है कॉम्बिनेशन है राजयोग है ये डी एसेट मैनेजमेंट में नहीं चलेंगे आपके ये नहीं चलेंगे वहां पर हम एसेट्स देख रहे हैं 
कि इज दिस प्लैनेट एन एसेट कंफर्टेबल और नॉट पारुल समझ में आ रहा है राजयोग फलित होते हैं सूर्य की वजह से और वो कितने लंबे चलेंगे आपकी कुंडली में राजयोग एक महीने के लिए चला कि दस साल के लिए चला आप प्राइम मिनिस्टर एक महीने के लिए बने कि आप पंद्रह साल के लिए प्राइम मिनिस्टर बने वो आपके चंद्र के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है पहले अलाव किसने किया सूर्य ने उसकी लॉन्जिविटी किसने डिसाइड की उस राजयोग की मूड 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 इसीलिए मैं बोलता हूं कि अगर कुंडली में सूर्य खराब बैठा है या चंद्रमा खराब बैठा है तो आपकी सिक्सटी परसेंट कुंडली खराब है क्योंकि जितने राजयोग बन रहे हैं आपकी कुंडली में या तो वो अलाउ नहीं किए जाएंगे और अगर वो अलाउ किए जाएंगे तो वो उसकी परसिस्टेंस कम होगी दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू परसिस्ट That will also feel like so restricted, ना गुरु जी मतलब आप कुछ करना चाहते हो लेकिन वो ये बिकॉज ये ये लोग सपोर्ट नहीं कर रहे हैं तो आपको रिस्ट्रिक्टेड भी फील होगा वो बेचारों की क्या गलती है वो तो आपको करना ही चाहते आपके कर्म है आप उनकी क्या गलती है उन्होंने क्या रिस्ट्रिक्शन है विष्णु जी एज ए वेरी पावरफुल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अप देर He is sitting on a sheshna. You know why? What is the meaning of shesh? Left. Shesh is left only. Remaining. Remaining. Left. Remaining. Left. So Vishnu ji is Vishnu ji is sitting on the remaining world. I mean this this galaxy is our world. He is part of the remaining world. That is why he is on a shesh. that is why he is on shesh right remaining world means not just one surya or one chandra maybe 20 suryas and 400 chandras out of those 20 suryas which surya is dedicated to you tells that you are in this galaxy and the remaining shesh is with vishnu ji that is why he is sitting on the shesh na that is why the name of the naga is shesha aur us organization mein se ek algorithm aata hai aapke horoscope mein aur wo algorithm batata hai ki aapne acha karm kiya lekin us acche karm ke sath sath aapne ego badi thi aapka dimag kharab hua hua tha surya kharab hua kundli mein aapke acche karmon ka bhi phal nahi aapko mil raha क्योंकि जब सूर्य खराब होगा इंसान में ईगो होगी मरण कारण स्थान पर जब सूर्य होता है द्वादश भाव में क्या प्रॉब्लम होती है इंसान के अंदर अंदर ईगो होती है लेकिन वो ईगो दिखा नहीं पाता किसी को उसकी चलती नहीं है और जब चंद्रमा खराब होता है तो आपकी सक्सेसेस जो है वो शॉर्ट लिव्ड होती है आपके राजयोग बनते हैं वो शॉर्ट लिव्ड होते हैं आपके रिलेशनशिप शॉर्ट लिफ्ट होते हैं नवामशा में चंद्रमा सप्तम भाव में आ जाए आपके हजारों शॉर्ट लिफ्ट रिलेशन होंगे हजारों चाहे वो गर्लफ्रेंड्स के साथ हो बॉयफ्रेंड्स के साथ हो मल्टीपल अफेयर्स हो शॉर्ट लिफ्ट मून इन द सेवन हाउस ऑफ नवामशा तो स्पेकुलेशन देता जाएगा Did you understand what I'm trying to tell you? कि मैं किसी का राजयोग देख के बड़ा एक्साइटेड नहीं होता किसी का गज के योग देख के किसी का ध्वज योग देख के शश योग देख के ये योग देख के वो योग देख अरे भाई सूर्य तो देख लो कैसा है चंद्रमा तो देख लो आर दे अलोइंग आपके पास इतनी अच्छी गन है आपको चलानी नहीं आती यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू यूज इट हाउ विल यू किल योर एनिमीज इट इज जस्ट लाइक दी आर्मी ऑफिसर The main top boss is not allowing you to fire. Samne se fire aa raha hai. Wo keh raha hai, no, hold your fire, hold your fire. Then what will happen end of the day? You'll you'll be hit. Simple as that. So Surya or Chandrama, ye do aise graha hai. जो आपको एक कुंडली में बहुत केयरफुली एनालाइज करनी चाहिए 
और उनकी मर्जी के हिसाब से डी में प्लैनेट हैं जहां पर वो कंफर्टेबल रह सकते हैं प्लैनेट्स मतलब आपकी भाग्य अच्छा है आपके कर्म अच्छे हैं उस दशा के अंदर और अगर नहीं है तो आपके कर्म अच्छे नहीं है यू नॉट है गुड कर्म आई एम सॉरी यू आर गोइंग टू सफर आपकी सफरिंग है उसमें होगी ही होगी कुछ ही वन मोर क्वेश्चन है आई एम सॉरी नहीं नहीं फिर सॉरी वाली कौन सी बात है तो लाइक यहाँ पे जब हम आप हमने ये भी तो चेक किया है कि लगना या तो कैंसर होगा या लियो होगा उसके हिसाब से या तो आपके सेकंड इसमें कोई भाव नहीं है इसमें लगना नहीं है आप मेरा पहला लेक्चर याद करो मैंने ऐसे क्रॉस करके ऊपर नीचे रखे थे मैंने उस समय बताया था इसमें कोई लगना नहीं है इसमें कोई भाव नहीं है मैं आपको कह रहा हूँ आप आंखें बंद करके सिर्फ सुनो और सिर्फ उसको फॉलो करो जो मैं आपको कह रहा हूँ आपके लिए ज्योतिष बहुत इजी हो जाएगा पांच नंबर और चार नंबर देखो आप बस दैट्स ऑल बस और कुछ नहीं देखना है दूसरा भाव बारवा भाव पहला उसमें भाव ही नहीं है जी कोई भाव ही नहीं है करेक्ट दे है एनर्जी ऑफ द कैंसर एंड द लियो तो राइट देखो होरा की एनर्जी है ना अच्छा या सूर्य की या चंद्रमा की और उसमें कुछ ग्रह कंफर्टेबल है जो डे पावरफुल है वो डे हॉरा में कंफर्टेबल है सूर्य के हॉरा में जो रात को नाइट पावरफुल प्लैनेट्स आर गुड इन कर्क हॉरा और बुद्ध मैंने आपको बता ही दिया कैसे पावरफुल होता है अब आप आप बुद्ध की बात करें आप देखो अगर इसी कुंडली में हम जाते हैं यहां पर आप देखो बुद्ध कौन से में हॉरा में है बुद्ध इज इन दी सन हो रहा राइट और ये ऑब्वियसली कहा चला जाएगा इंसान अगर सपोज करो बुद्ध यहां पर चंद्र के हॉरा में होता तो वहां चंद्र के हॉरा में चला जाता सो दैट मीन इट इज नॉट अब ये देखिए ना जो हमारा बुद्ध है यहां पर बुद्ध कहा गया सन के हॉरा में आपको पता है मेरी बुद्ध की दशा अच्छी नहीं थी मेरा दिखाएंगे गुरु जी तो पारुल जी को समझ आ जाएगा मेरा हम चला जाता है उसमें चंद्र की ओर आप तो जी गुरु जी तो, तो बुद्ध की दशा मेरी अच्छी नहीं थी पारुल ऑल दो यहाँ पे दिखा रहा क्योंकि बुद्ध मारक भी था मेष लगन की कुंडलियों में बुद्ध की दशा कभी अच्छी नहीं जाती लेकिन बुद्ध ने क्या किया इन माई बुद्ध दशा सिंस इट वॉज इन दी फेवरेबल हॉरा इट गेव मी एक्सीलेंट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एक्सीलेंट राइटिंग एबिलिटीज अ टेस्ट ऑफ द कॉर्पोरेट राइट बट विद लॉट्स एंड लॉट ऑफ संघर्ष थर्ड हाउस बुद्ध इतना संघर्ष दिया मुझे इतना संघर्ष दिया और बुद्ध की दशा उस समय आई जब मैं अठारह साल का था अगर ये छत्तीस सैंतीस साल की एज में आई होती तो मैं उपच्य उपच्य का फायदा ले सकता था आई कुड टेकन बेनिफिट ऑफ मर्करी बींग इन दी उपच्य हाउसेस बट आई कुड नॉट टेक इट बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट इन माई मिडल एज आई कुड ओनली टेक दी बेनिफिट इफ आई वुड इन द मिडल एज आई वॉज यंग and if you have a dasha coming in your life when you are young and it is in the upachya houses you are going to have the hardest time of your life so just by saying that mercury is well placed doesn't mean that my dasha will be fantastic it may not be fantastic based on see he is comfortable he is giving me good communication skills i was working in corporate anyone who see see me from outside would say fantastic you know you're working for this company that company you are around the world you have a team you're learning you're performing and i had no money in my pocket there was so much of debt problems this problem that problem you know not things not moving making mistakes 
from a very good nice comfortable home looking at my income in the corporate i jumped on buying a big home and then i realized i could not afford that and i i thought that i'll sell this and buy another home i'll i'll save money us money se main iska qarza utar dunga aur i'll buy wo bhi gaya ye bhi gaya mistakes father lost health in between some other problems came the entire money cash got diffused there although corporate wise it was fantastic i was learning i was getting promotions all these communication skills that you see here that i talk with you i have i have learned them all these writing abilities have come when i was working in the corporate i was working globally i learned all these things so this is how you understand parashari d2 hora pehle ji aapko dhanwat ji sorry nahi mai bol rahi thi ki aapko dhanwat pranam hai kyunki jab bhi mujhe kuch question hota hai na you just answer it in the class i have been trying about my mercury for last 3 days aur abhi aapne jawab de diya okay thank you so much okay so डी टू हॉरा क्लियर है सबको जैसे डी फोर क्लियर था अभी आपको से कोई पूछता है somebody ask you, should I have rented income? Should I buy property? You know your basics. You can create thousands of permutations, combinations, this योग that योग परिवर्तन योग रात योग क्रिएट प्रैक्टिस एंड क्रिएट बट स्टिक टू योर बेसिक्स If your basics are strong, you'll be able to resolve ninety percent of the problem. But if your basics are not strong, then you over logic. लगाते जाओगे and you will be in your own circle, round and round and round and round and round. यहाँ पे problem आती है. कभी कभी आप लोग एक chart discuss करते हो. मेरे को अच्छा भी लग रहा होता है और कभी कभी बड़ा गुस्सा आता है मुझे पता है क्यों गुस्सा आता है मुझे लगता है कि मैं एक वो कॉम्बिनेशन देख पा रहा हूं ये लोग वो वो एक कॉम्बिनेशन जो मैं देख पा रहा हूं उस तक कोई जा ही नहीं रहा है यू अंडरस्टैंड मतलब अगर आप किसी की मेडिटेटिव एबिलिटीज के बारे में बात कर रहे हो तो मेरे को ये समझ नहीं आती कि उसके बारहवें घर में आत्मा कारक को कोई क्यों नहीं देख रहा है जो उसको सफरिंग भी देगा ठीक है मतलब आप दुनिया भर के लॉजिक लगा रहे हो ऐसे वैसे ये वो मैं कहता हूं भगवान कृष्णा गिव देम एबिलिटी टू लुक एट दैट वन लॉजिक दैट आई एम लुकिंग एट एंड दे आर नॉट लुकिंग एट एंड मैं उसको लिख के नहीं बताना चाहता क्योंकि मैं चाहता हूं कि यू शुड हैव अ जर्नी टू रीच देयर फॉर दैट लॉजिक रेदर देन जस्ट स्पून फीड ओ ये गुरु जी गुड 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 फेंटेस्टिक आई डोंट वांट दैट गुड फेंटेस्टिक थिंग नो आई वांट यू पीपल टू हैव दैट जर्नी बिकॉज मंजिल पे पहुंचने का इतना मजा नहीं होता जितना जर्नी का होता है जर्नी इज इंजॉयबल वंस यू रीच अ प्लेस देन यू फॉरगेट अबाउट इंजॉयमेंट इज नो इंजॉयमेंट देर यू आर टायर्ड you enjoy journey the more rather than the destination so that is where you know these things becomes extremely important ab d2 somnath ki baat karte hain ab aapko ek baat batau d2 somnath ka jo chart hai हमेशा वो दो लोगों के साथ देखना है मेरा चार्ट मेरी पत्नी का चार्ट मेरे कोलीग का चार्ट मेरे स्टूडेंट का चार्ट मेरे दोस्त का चार्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव टू चेक 
Let me clear this. In the Somanath chart, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Check between the two people how many planets are in the same sign. Same sign. I am not saying same house. What I'm saying is same sign. Check. <clears throat> if Lagna is same. Check. If Lagna is same. Check if you have any other similarities. If any similarity you find. Suppose your moon is in the same sign as that of the person, the other person. Suppose my moon is in the Scorpio. Your moon is also in the Scorpio. In the Somanath Hora. Somanath D2 Hora chart. Now, you have to take this input to D1. Look in the D1 chart, where is your moon and where is my moon? If my moon is in the 8th house, it is pertaining to spirituality, it is pertaining to Jyotisha and your moon is in the 3rd house, in your D1. What will happen? In the D2 Somanath, it was in the same sign. Objective is same. Chandramaka objective is same. But it has gone to different bhavas in the D1 means that my objective is to learn occult sciences. Your objective for me will be to help me communicate that. Because your moon is in the third house. And vice versa. You want to communicate, I will help you to go and dig in in the eighth house. That is how we people will help each other. And there can be thousands of such logics that you can create between two people. Not an easy thing to do. Hello? It would require a lot of practice. Suppose your Venus and my Venus are in the same. Venus is all about devotion. My is in the fourth house. Okay, working from home, focusing towards the comforts with full, full digbala. Yours is in the ninth house. What will you do? You will make me travel long distances for the same objective. For the same objective. You will make me push me towards spirituality for the same objective. I will do certain charts tomorrow with you. Try and understand the objective of two people. They had same Chandras, Shukras. Imagine if you have four or five planets in the same sign with two people. Whoa. Four or five same sign or the Lagna is same means you have a common objective. Now you have to look at the combination. Ki wo objective ek dusre ke saath wo kaise madad hogi? Wo kis bhaav mein baith ke madad karega? Aur aap kis bhaav mein baith ke madad kar rahe ho? Aap kis tarah ki energy release kar rahe ho? And that person is releasing what kind of an energy? 
and how the combination will work. Did you understand the basic of how D2 Somanath works? Yes, no? Oh, how do you build? I mean, we can teach you that, but then take me another one hour. We can teach you that, it's easy. But the software is doing it. I can teach you probably in the next class. But first try to understand that logic. I have to, you know, taught you how to build the, you know, D2 Hora. I can teach you Somanath also, and I can teach you Parivriti also. We can build them, easy. But then the time for me is to just make you focus towards this thing. I mean, that is a very simple thing. So build this, this logic that look at the similarities and these are only dharma similarities, okay? These people, the objective, see objective is never personal. You can take objective personally, that is okay. That is not professionalism. Okay. So this is how we understand the D2 Somanath. I would want you people to put some charts in the group and try to do some exercise until I show you few charts. Because I will show you few charts after teaching you D2 Parivriti. Because then we'll take because objectives cannot be defined until, until unless you understand dharma of a person. Is the dharma towards himself, towards the nation, towards the family or towards the profession? Once you understand those things for person A and then you understand for person B and then you see in the Somanath and then you see how is their dasha going to be good or bad from the Parashara D2, then you can make a statement. Easy? It's not that difficult also. If you think it is difficult, it is difficult. If you think it is easy, you will reach somewhere. How many of you understood this thing? Come on, tell me this. You understood. Jyoti says understood. Sunny, you understood what I'm saying. At least you have basic logic. I will take you to a level where you have crystal clear. But it will not be in lecture. I am just building the basics for you right now. When we do charts tomorrow, you will understand what is what. Okay, at least aapko ek glimpse aare hai ki, okay, this is what we can see in a chart. Now you start doing your brainstorming. Ko baitho, charts nikalo. Dekho, kya ho hai? And then you'll understand many things about it. Lot of questions will come in your mind. Lot of questions will come in the group. I will definitely answer the intelligent questions. Because the intelligent question deserve an intelligent answer. A stupid question does not deserve a stupid answer. Actually, it doesn't deserve an answer. Okay. At least Parashara D2 clear hai. D2 Somanath ke aapko glimpse mil chuke hai. Ki D2 Somanath mein humne karna ke hai. Wo identify karne ke baad, objective same, hume pata lag gaya. आप उसको फलित कैसे करना है वो कल सिखा दूंगा लेकिन आज पहले इतना डाइजेस्ट करो डू नॉट ओवर ईट ओके जस्ट डाइजेस्ट व्हाट आई हैव सेड टुडे टुमारो आई विल गिव यू अनदर यू नो गुड डिश टू ईट देन आपकी उसमें पकड़ आ जाएगी ठीक है सो टुडे इतना ही आज इतना ही करेंगे